Today we are going to be comparing two different properties in two different locations in two completely different price ranges. The first house we're looking at is in Key Biscayne. It's got five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, just under 5,000 square feet, and this one's asking $11 million. The second home is in Miami Beach. It's got seven bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, just over 7,000 square feet, and this one's asking $175,000 a month to rent. All right, so starting with house number one, this is kind of like your front area, okay? So, you know, you're gonna park down over here. You don't have a garage. You do have four parking spaces. So you do have a good amount of space for people coming to visit. Five-star amenities included with Oceana, the building, which is a top tier building, and you have the full access to it. So that's another thing to keep in mind. I'm gonna show you some of the key features. It'll help you make your decision what you, which one you think is uh, worth it. Call me. We just walked in and here is like where your living room is. So you have two living rooms over here, nice and big, open space. We have the dining room on this side. It's a whole space dedicated to the dining room right over here. Wraparound style that you'll see in most houses, stainless steel above, dual wine coolers, you know, right over here. And then we also have a door leading out to go outside. Let's actually just head out there. I'll show you the backyard real quick. So stepping out, this is the building where you share the amenities with. 12,000 square foot lot, so you get tons of space. Another place to just sit out, hang out and lounge. More places to relax, have a great time. That whole area going all the way down, that's your yard. And then you have a pool. It's really nice. But let me show you where you're gonna be sleeping at night. I'll show you the main suite. I'll show you the bathroom. Give you an idea of the vibes. Follow me upstairs. So, I mean, yeah, you have a bunch of guest bedrooms up here. This is pretty much where they all are, but the main suite has its own, like, walk-up area, you know? And then coming in, this is it. You know, you got your huge space. The ceilings are twice the size of me. Speakers, a view of the ocean in the distance. You could see out the sky this way. The bed's in the center, a place to sit, and let me show you the closets now. So you get walk-in closets. This is his and hers on each side. You can hold a lot of clothes, shoes at the top, accessories on this island. And this is the bathroom. Not the biggest bathroom we've ever seen, but it has all the essentials, soak and tub, towel warmer, walk-in shower, toilet over there. And then the final feature really, private balcony. Once again, you can get a better view of the ocean down to the distance over there, so you got that. Let me talk about the next one now. Let's head over to the next house and let me know what you think. All right, so you just saw what an $11 million house looks like. Now we're at a house that costs $175,000 a month to rent. So you're gonna see some huge differences. Let's head inside and get started with the living spaces. So we just came into the house and we're walking in and when you look up in this home, it's amazing. You have like this double high ceiling, these light pictures, the window leading to the top, it's gorgeous. This is our living space and eating area and everything. So on my right, we have the kitchen over here. It's got the wolf stove, two ovens, two microwaves, two fridge and freezers. There's some in the back heading down towards the staff area. This is your breakfast table. Normally it's like a little circle. This is a huge breakfast table, TV, coffee station. Across from here, we actually have a TV room encased in this glass-walled room. It's got a projector screen, and the projector comes down right here. So while you're sitting down, you just have an insane experience, almost like a see-through movie theater, the curved sofa with some nice views. Stepping out from this room, as you walk down to the formal living space, it's all enjoyed by this view. You have the water in the pool, the water from Indian Creek, this is your formal sitting area, a couple couches, some places to lounge and just hang out. And then across from this, a dining room to take all dining rooms to court and sue them for all their worth. This is amazing. You can host a huge dinner under these gorgeous light fixtures, the wood on the ceiling. You even have a sink over here for when you get barbecue rib sauce on your hands, you know, rinse them off, boom, right over there. And now let me show you outside. And this is really where you're gonna see a difference. This is the pool, it's huge. It's got that gorgeous finish at the bottom, leading all the way down, surrounded by turf grass. And if you come down these few steps with me, 
the turf grass kind of just expands now. You have this huge yard. Down over here, we have our 12 person or more jacuzzi. Even looking back on the house, the design, the architecture, everything is so nice and open and spacious. This is your deck, 75 feet of water frontage, leading you straight out into the ocean. Your neighbors are passing by in their mega yachts. It's just an experience. But wait until I go upstairs and I show you the main suite of this house. It's gonna blow your mind. Let's go take a look. So here we are in the main bedroom. Come on in with me. And you'll see in this one, the closets are a lot bigger. So you still have his and hers, but look at the length. Look at this. You put 100 shoes in here, 200 dresses, 300 pants. And then across, this is like his side, obviously a little smaller, but still has good stuff. As long as you have a full body mirror, you can't complain. You can see the fit, everything's good. Let's take a look in the bathroom now. This is where you'll see another big difference. You know, the other one kind of was a little bit tighter. This one has a ton more space. Your two toilets hidden by hand here, so you each get your own toilet. And come look at this walk-in shower. This walk-in shower is obviously a lot more walk-in. All these knobs and whistles, some extra handhelds, everything is cool in here. And then on top of all of this, you know, the other house also had the soak-in tub in the bathroom, but this one's just a little bit more standing out. You know, it's, it just looks really cool and really inviting. I just wanna jump in there and enjoy the view. Dual sinks in here with hand soaps ready to be used. This is actually where you're gonna sleep at night. This one's got more room for the bed. You have double queens right here. You also have a projector screen that can come down and you can basically watch a movie while laying in bed. And also a little bit more privacy, you know, got landscaping around you and not to mention the view that you have in front. So let's take a look at that real quick. Open this balcony, hop out. So the other one had a private balcony, yeah, sure. But this one has a really private balcony. I mean. Your neighbors are water and Indian Creek. I can actually see the ocean if I squint a little bit. A place to just like lounge and hang out here. And you can actually walk on this one very far. Look at this. It goes all the way down, all this lighting, fans, and it ends at the very end with a jacuzzi on the balcony. This place also has a rooftop that we need to take you up there and show you. Uh, the other one didn't, but it's part of the appeal of this one. So why don't I take you up there? I just out of the elevator and now we're at the third floor so look you have a rooftop grill and as we walk down further it takes you kind of straight down to an outdoor lounging space you know this is amazing imagine coming out here having game night having brunch places to lounge and sit on a sofa and then the view you get is this waterfront glass view no obstructions straight outside i can see the ocean in the distance it's amazing so i showed you what an 11 million dollar house looked like I showed you what a house that rents for $175,000 a month looks like. And now I want to know, YouTube, which one was your favorite? Comment down below and whoever gets the most votes on their comment or whatever, I'll pin it. I'll mention them in the next comparison video. And I think that's something that we're going to continue doing. So if you like this idea, let me know and we'll do some more of them. I'll see you the next one.